Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be having an overview of the text tool that's located within TrueCut already works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just so you guys know, this is going to be a mini series on the text tool where we'll be going to depth about what all the features um, options do. I might also have one or two practicals afterwards just so you guys can see it in action. Now, um, yeah, we have covered this briefly before in the draw bar mini series, but um, in this series, we're going to go into more depth about what all those settings do. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, when it comes to the text tool, there is a few things that's worth noting before you even start using it, because this can be quite frustrating if you're used to um, a more classic way of our text tools work. And that is obviously if we first locate our text tool, which is here in our drawbar, a little F button, we click that, and then we can simply, like normally, select where you want to put your text. Let's call this test text. And then um, you can obviously set all your other parameters. So um, we've got the fonts, we've got some basic spacing and so forth, some scaling, some more advanced options here. You can obviously cancel and okay. And this is uh, the area where obviously you do all your text where you add it. So then let's say we've added now. Now what I wanted to cover, so I'm just going to scale this up, is um, in a normal workflow in most programs, in order to edit this text, what you'll do is you select your um, text tool again and then you click on the text and it will edit it for you so by default yet yeah, it will seem like um, it just did that so everything is fine so now you click two year just to see the update say okay and as you see it just added us some new text over here so to add text you'll be using your text tool in other words and if you want to edit it you actually want to go to your selection tool on your drawbar Make sure that is selected and then select the text you want to edit, double click it. Then we make the changes, click OK, and you will see it updates that text. And the last changes you've made with um, text will be saved as temporary in your text tool. So if I had to select this text tool, click here on the right, you will see it's got all the information of what we just did. And that is why it can seem like you can edit text by clicking the text tool. But if I had to go and use this and click on the title, you will suddenly notice, no, it's still popping up that. So there you might have some tell signs already that something is not right. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a, um, in the beginning, like I mentioned, can be quite frustrating. But once you get used to it, it's actually rather simple. I do prefer the more classic way of doing it, where you actually use your text tool for editing text. It just makes more sense, in my opinion, especially after in condition like that. But uh, like I said, it's not train smash because um, it's actually more or you get familiar with it quicker than what you imagine. So that is the big thing. So the overview is um, we have the font area, basic spacing and so forth. We can set to the right, the actual text that we're typing underneath the font, and then we've got the scale. And on the right here, we've got some more advanced features. And then the key note, like I mentioned, is you add text with the text tool and you edit text with the selection tool by double clicking your text. That is definitely um, a very important note to remember. But otherwise, in the meanwhile, if we head to the website softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the text you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video. Sorry, I mean the <laughs> training videos you're looking for, not the text. You can simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we will do our best to try and make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.